And we are live. Greetings, friends. Welcome to the Bad Honor Free Roam. Eagles Pro says, hi, uh, G-Lash. Thank you for the some thumbs ups. I always know going to have a good stream with thumbs ups. From J-Lash, David and O-Dog, shout out to the mods are in the chat. David, welcome. Appreciate you, friend. Same with you, O-Dog. O-Dog, I have to talk to you. Um, David, what's for dinner? We are joined once more by our channel co-host, Sadie, the channel dog, who is sitting up and attentive for once, mainly because I'm hold, holding this potent canine treat. O-Dog says, up, S.A., on the phone. Well done, O-Dog. David has the moon dog emoticons and says, there he is. David says, sit a spell, take your shoes off. David, what's for dinner? I had a very busy week. How was your week? I hope all of you are well. Uh, let's see. Let me get comfortable here. David says, making picadillo. I'm not sure what that is, but I'm sure it's delicious. Actually, I can Google it from here. Search Google for picadillo. It's, let's see, a Latin American dish made of ground beef, potatoes, and a tomato sauce mixture. Well, that just sounds wonderful. Ground beef and potatoes can't go wrong. Ben's current says, hi everyone, greetings, Ben. Get back up here, get back up. Hey, get back up here. Hop. Thank you. Sadie wanted to get under the, the desk, but I really want her over here. Ben says, hey there, David. Miko says, hello, Super Antonio and Sadie. Hello, David O'Dog. J-Lash Eagles Benz. Howdy, everyone. Howdy to you, Miko. Greetings. How are you, friend? Shout out to the Philippines. She's very tired. Not even sitting up properly. She's leaning O'Dog says, welcome, Miko. We got arrested in the strawberry jail. Um, Micah is not there yet. David says, corn, potatoes, carrots, meat, and a bunch of seasoning. Sounds delicious, David. It really does. I hope you made enough for everyone. And David says, Miko. Greetings to Miko. Sadie has left us once again. Sadie has left the chat. She's underneath the... Underneath the desk, there might be a balcony visitation. No, she's just sitting down under, under the desk. Ben says, I had steamed broccoli, rice, and Asian style cooked steak. I'd eat that. That sounds delicious. Sounds better than what I had. Eagles Pro said, Hey, Super Antonio, I'm in chapter two. What horse should I get? Whatever horse you would like, Eagles Pro. That's the beauty of the game. This is Arthur's favorite horse. And we have, recall, I don't know if you saw, we got a moose. And we've got the moose back. 
So we need to sell that moose to the uh, trappers. It's a three-star pelt. If it was a two-star, I would just um, just dump it at the butchers. David says, and delusion from the strawberry stables. Excellent choice, David. Jolly Rancher says, keep the Raven Blackshire Eagles. That is a great idea, Jolly Rancher. The Unruly Bastard with an E. Eagle says, that I did. That is a huge horse. Arthur looks great on it. So low. No acceleration to that darn thing. Very ponderous, but um, so pretty. I have nothing but good things to say about that horse. It just takes a while to get him going. And if you're working on a cross country trip, you better have free, you better have um, a camp upgrade so you can fast travel from camp because you're going to need it. You're going to need it. Ben says, Eagles, I would say I'm kind of biased, but I do, but Hungarian half bred piebald, yes, I would agree with you, Ben's. But you know that. You should know that. And back to the trappers we go. David says the flaxen Hungarian is also a good one. That was my favorite, first, one of my first favorite horses. Year one. Always tried to get one every playthrough. So this week, oh, I um, All right, let's have a look. I worked on shorts for the channel. Currently producing three shorts a day on this channel and two shorts on the second channel. So five shorts a day. It is a grueling schedule. Don't know how long I'm going to be able to keep it up. Christian says, hello, sure. Super Antonio. I'm finally here. Eagle says, I like thoroughbreds and Andalusians and Shires. Hortus, greetings, says, um, greetings, friend, says, it's been so long since I've not played on one of my ultimate start save files. I don't even know what horse I'd use if I didn't have my Turks and Trotters. Christian says, I feel sad I missed the other two live streams. Well, I'm happy to have you back, Christian. Hort, I saw an extended trailer for, uh, recall, Hortus, we talked about the, um, the remake of um roadhouse with um jake gyllenhaal so i saw an extended trailer and yeah it looks fine it looks good i mean he's in ridiculous shape and um conor mcgregor is the bad guy so i'm interested it looks like an interesting update and it's on amazon it's free David says, Chris and Hort and Odog says, what up, Christian? Christian says, up, David, how are you, friend? Odog, shout out to Hort. Hort says, hey, y'all. Ben says, the flaxen chestnut is very nice. I used to, to recreate old boy since I'm on Xbox. So no save wizard, but now I use a dark bay shire with a white mane for old boy. Christian says, nothing much, O-Dog. How about you, friend? O-Dog says, on phone. Hortus says, I just watched it last night. What is your report, Hortus? And A-Name says, Antonio. Who is that? And Hortus says, haha, Knox, baby. A-Name, greetings, friend. Shout out to Ireland. A-Name, I always appreciate you being here, but as always, I, I kind of wish you were asleep. I am conflicted. Christian says, I saw the video of Super Antonio swearing. It doesn't suit him cursing. Yeah, I swear on the second channel. But it's just quoting from movies. It's movie quotes. Hortus says, eh, it was all right. I mean, you know, Patrick Swayze, I'm sentimental about Patrick Swayze. He, he was gone too soon. Um, it's, you know, the original Roadhouse is just a goofy movie from the 80s. Hortus says, not Lyman or... Gyllenhaal's best work. 
Kristen says, nice shirt, Super Antonio. Come to save the day. Well, I am Super Antonio. So there you have it. Um, we're doing some experiments on the thumbnails, too. I always thought that if you put your face in the thumbnail, you should have a big, goofy smile that's slightly open. Because that's what Mr. Beast does. But then I heard from YouTube that you should experiment with um, closed mouth, s serious thumbnails to see which, um, which your viewers prefer. And so that's a really th easy thing to do. So all weekend long, we are going to do closed mouth, serious thumbnails. Like this. Or this. And we'll see how that works. A name says, need to smoke first. Ha ha, and some food. Okay, A name. You take care of yourself. Ben says, I watched the original Roadho Roadhouse at 10. Really liked it, but it was quite a movie for my age. Yeah, it's kind of violent. Jolly Rancher says, how much sleep do you try to get, Antonio? Um, I break my sleep up into, um, into two things. I sleep... I get about four hours, but I um, I have an afternoon. I have a siesta from about one to three. So I get like two hours in the afternoon and six hours at night. So I get a full eight hours, but I break it up. Because I like being up late, but I also like getting up early. I like seeing the sunrise. I like the quiet time before the sunrise. It's... um very productive for me plus the market's open and I need the market to be open so I'm watching the market um, but I also like being up late for the same reason it's fun to so I, what it means is I need a, I need a nap in the middle of the day good question Jolly Rancher how many how much sleep do you get Christian says super Antonio I'm surprised they updated Red Dead 2 they updated they didn't update story mode they you know, all those files you downloaded are for um, Red Dead Online. Hortus says, I've never seen the original, so I had no comp comparisons to make. I don't think it's a one-to-one -one remake. Um, Hortus, from the trailer, it kind of is. Um, more just essentially the same premise of capable fighter brought in to clean up a rowdy bar. Hortus Go watch the original, um, because it kind of is. They gender swapped and race swapped the bar owner, but it's basically the same. You know, it's it's basically the same movie except you get monster trucks in the original. Um, I don't think he got monster trucks, and also it's it's set in the south. I think that's essential because you know roadhouses are are southern. I think it's part of the southern culture. Um, also, it's interesting casting because Jake Gyllenhaal comparably is, you know, he's more of a dramatic actor like Patrick Swayze was. And as I recall, Patrick Swayze, I think this is maybe one of his only action movies. It almost seemed like a miscasting, but, you know, he was great in it. Hortus says, let's see, David says, I don't like that you can't fast travel to Coulter from camp. Yeah, what's that about? And Hortus says, I'm a night owl. I stay up late to a fault. Yeah, I, I love staying up late. I always have. Ben says, I've been spending a lot of time up in the snow by Coulter recently as my little initiation is to hunt a moose with a new horse whenever I get one. That sounds interesting, Ben's trends. There is a fossil around here somewhere. Christian says, well, Eagles Pro, go to sleep if you're tired. And how are you, Bent? Hope all of you all are well. You all fine folks this great Friday. Yeah, it is a great Friday. And Bent says, I'm great, Christian. How are you? Christian says, doing well, Bent. 16 viewers in the chat. Welcome, friends. Happy Friday. On Fridays, we free roam. 
the bad honor playthrough. I should tell you to like and subscribe. And if you have a chance, uh, check out my second channel. Link is in the pinned comment. We're going to go say hello to those fine folk at Hanging Dog Ranch. Uh, second channel is uh, movie and Blu-ray reviews and um, movie quote shorts. Something new I've been trying. Appreciate a sub on the second channel as well. Take out those two guys and then we are going to approach from the rear to avoid that Gatling gun. And the tent is really messing us up. But as long as we're, you know, out of range of the Gatling gun, we'll be fine. Serena's here. Everybody say hi to Serena. Serena says, hi, Antonio. I made it. And hi, everyone. Greetings, Serena. Welcome, friend. Appreciate you. Glad you're here. David has the Star Hearts emoticon. I did a deep dive on dingoes because I was wondering if dingoes were related to coyotes. They are not. Coyotes are, um... Coyotes and dingoes are a completely different species, and coyotes were always wild. And the um, theory with dingoes is three, three to ten thousand years ago, there were they were domesticated dogs that went um, that went feral. So dingoes have a domesticated origin, and coyotes have always been wild. Very interesting to me, Serena. Christian says, hello, Serena. How are you? How are you also known as Star Hearts? Ben says, hi, Serena. And Serena says, hi, Christian. I'm good. How are you? Miko says, hello, Serena. Serena says, hi, O-Dog. Hi, Ben. Hi, Miko. We got all the mods. Welcome, friends. Shout out to the mods. I'm sure you'll be on your best behavior now. Actually, we are in subscribers only mode. Tomorrow night, we're doing another horse show where you will be featuring Bodicea, the liver chestnut Hungarian half bred. Christian says, Doing well, Serena. Good to hear that you're doing good. Yes, yeah, Serena. Um, I'm glad you are well. O Dog, and anyone else who has a PS5, um, there's a game. I watch gameplay. It's called Dragons, Dragons, Diablo, Dragons Den. It's a Dragons D, Dragons Dominion, Dragons Dwelling, Dragons. Oh, Dragma, Dragons Dogma, Part Two. Who's playing there? That game, and um, asking for a friend. It was very interesting in the gameplay. Looked interesting. Looked very Witcher Three, but uh. You get to customize your own character. It might be an online game. I couldn't really figure that part out. But I saw some gameplay, and I kind of liked it. Christian says, what about Doc? What about Doc indeed, Christian? He shows up when he shows up. And he doesn't when he doesn't. a -Name says, disappeared there for a few. And Hortus says, dogma. Oh, yeah. Hortus. Not, Hortus says, not playing yet, but I will soon. Yes, Hortus. I, want, I will expect a full report because it looks interesting. How much is it? Well, it's at least 500 bucks because I would have to get um, a PS5. It's a PS5 exclusive. Dragon's Dogma. Part 2. Capcom. Oh, it just got released. Is it on Amazon? It's 70 bucks. That's a little bit. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Serena says, hi, Hortus. 
And Hortus says, ma'am. And Hortus says, full price, 70 bucks. Yeah, what's, what's that about? Ben says, hey, Super Antonio, I made a comment on one of the shorts about an idea I had. What if you showcased outfits we would make in the comments? Um, yeah, a viewer fashion show. We did those earlier, like pre-10K. Maybe we'll do one at 20K. We shall see. Hortus says, I'm getting it from Gamefly, though, and if I like it, I'll buy it from them. So I'll get it for a discounted price. Interesting. Okay, Hortus. Yeah, give me, I will expect a full report. A name says, got NBA 2K24 from PS, PS Plus today. It's actually really good, Tbuh, to be honest. Christian asks, where's Sadie Super Antonio? What did you do throughout your day with Sadie? Oh, we played. We played, we chased, we ran. I will attract her with, with some potent canine bait. Pup, pup. Here's Sadie. Say hello to everybody, okay? Say hello to Christian, who asked about you, and Serena, who just showed up. Tell everyone to like and subscribe. Tell them to subscribe to the second channel, where there is a swearing. Serena says, where's Sadie thinking the same thing? Say hello to uh, Serena, okay? Good girl. Can you hear a crunch? <laughs> Aenim says, Rain falls badly coming down right now. And Hortus says, should receive it Monday or so. Okay, excellent, Hortus. Ben says, I've been playing Red Dead Rising 2 off the, re off the record, which is a director's cut of the original sequel. Interesting. Serena says, hi, Aenim. And Aenim says, yo, Serena. And Serena says, hi, Sadie, there you are, beautiful, gorgeous girl. Sadie thinks you are a beautiful, gorgeous girl, Serena. She um, told me earlier. And Christian says, hello, Sadie, you beautiful girl. Look at all these people who like you. See? I'm glad you're sitting up. Appreciate that. I don't have anything for you. You already had your dinner. A name. Sadie looks half asleep. Yeah, she is. She's not even like sitting up. She's like leaning. David says, Kodak says to tell Sadie hi for him. Kodak says hi. You'd like Kodak. She likes big dogs. She thinks she's a big dog, except when she gets home. Then she thinks she's a little dog, a little baby dog. But outside, she's got big dog energy. Orag, you need to play Dragon's Dogma. Next time, um, go to the casino and win 70 bucks and then um, and then get yourself a copy of Dragon's Dogma because that is a little pricey. In my brain, I don't want to spend more than 50 bucks for a video game. Though, uh, no, I got the Ultimate Edition half price. Um, it was half price on Black Friday, so it was like 40 bucks, 45 bucks. So, um, David, uh, Serena says, David, say hi to your wife. Hope she's well. Yes. Shout out to David's better half. The best decision he ever made. Um, Ben says, my boxer says hello as well. Ben, what is your boxer's name? Um, Jolly Rancher says, any favorite character from Hateful Eight, Super Antonio? Uh, interesting, Jolly Rancher. That is my favorite um, Quentin Tarantino movie and um, the latest movie short quote that I did was um, from the Hateful Eight. It's called Dominic Hughes Got a Secret. Um, I like every character. I like the whole I like the whole movie, the whole structure of the movie. Um Yeah. I should do a review of it. Maybe I will. Um, interesting, Jolly Rancher. Who's your favorite character? Uh, David says, she says hi, Serena. Oh, David, we have new end credits featuring further on down the trail. So um, stick around for that yep. because I need to make your wife smile. Need to keep her happy. 
Happy wife, happy life. Uh, time for a routine camp inspection. Serena says, okay, David, thank you. Horta says 70 is the new default price now. Yes, I know, just in my brain. And you know, inflation wise, 50 bucks, prob 70 bucks probably buys what 50 bucks used to buy. A name says, putting on some rice and chicken. A great combo, A name. Christian says, what about you, Super Antonio? What was the main reason you got Red Dead Redemption 1 and 2? Uh, the open world for Red Dead 2. I was fascinated. I just wanted to see how open this open world was. And, you know, four years later, six years later, here we are. I love this world. Uh, Serena says, thanks, David. Ben says, my dog's name is... Che, she is an awesome dog. Yeah, I, you know, all dogs are awesome. I like boxers. My nephew's favorite breed is a French boxer. This one has a French boxer um, friend from the park. What is her name? Her name is Noosh, which is short for Anushka, I think. Ben says, I might be getting a new dog next month. My parents' friend is a dog breeder, and she is breeding English bulldog puppies. And we have first pick of the litter. Oh, that'll be fun. That's something exciting to look at. Hey, name says, my dogs just sat barking at me, like always. Christian says, so you are into worldwide games where you aren't forced to do anything, and you can't exp explore the great outdoors in the game where you can explore the great outdoors in the game yeah i like open world games where, you, where people where you're just left alone to explore and to find things on your own jolly rancher says walton goggins was so good as sheriff of red um of red rock definitely do a review i would definitely watch yeah <laughs> When he says, I didn't mean to get political, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy the warmth of this, <laughs> of this ride. Yeah, they're all like, it's a wonderful movie. Great quotes. And that was a real guitar that Kurt Russell smashed. That's a real, um, it's not a Gibson. It was a Martin. Yeah, it was an antique Martin. It was worth hundreds of thousands Um, Horta says, well, and consider how much it costs to make a game now. Development costs have about doubled in the last 10 to 20 years. Not that I'm happy about it, but a little price bump makes sense. Yeah, I mean, you're right. Of course, you're right, you're right. It's just, it's just, you know, it's a little bit of sticker shock. Seeing what modern games cost. But you're right. A name says, mad to think how long this game's been out. And it still holds up. And it will always hold up, I think. Serena says, same. I love open world games too. Yeah. Yeah, it's something about just... And I think it, what attracts viewers to this game and this channel is is just the, the open world exploring, relaxing, uh, immersing yourself in this world, not necessarily focusing on challenges and tasks and problems to solve, just escaping into this beautiful world. Ben says, I was trying to make a quick draw clip in Red Dead 2. For it, I dressed up as Buster Scruggs and got it first try. Well done, Brent Benz. Christian says, that's good to know, Serena. David says, is there a new Dragon Age coming out? I don't know, David. Hortus says, there is a new Dragon Age in development, but not sure when it's supposed to come out. Serena says, yes, Christian, thank you. I like to explore on my own. I'm finding new things every time I play. And David says, all right, I thought I heard something. Ben says, also a crazy movie to watch is Bone Toma Tomahawk. It's a Western horror. Kurt Russell is a sheriff. And people are disappearing, and he assembles a crew to figure it out. I have seen Bone Tom Tomahawk. 
came out approximately the same time as um, Hateful Eight. Same year, I believe. Um, yeah, that's a cool movie. Very scary. Horta says, oh my God, Bone Tomahawk is so gnarly for that one scene. Ha ha ha. Yeah, won't spoil it for you guys. Highly recommend it. It's available on stream. I mean, I'm sure Amazon has it. You could probably watch it on YouTube. Christian says, yes, we all find new things in open world wide games. Did y'all know you can find a stuffed monkey or gorilla near the bri bridge, kind of near Strawberry? Yes, Christian. We've made videos on that. It's a gorilla. I believe it's the taxidermy lady's gorilla that she was delivering to someone in San Denis, perhaps Algernon, or perhaps the mayor. And the um, shipment crashed off that bridge. David says, Guns Akimbo is a decent enough movie. I've heard of that. But I didn't, I haven't seen it. A-Name says, gonna eat my food and head to bed. Hope everyone enjoys the rest of the stream and has a good night. You too, A-Name. Um, I appreciate you being here. I know it's late. And um, you have a great weekend, friend. Turtles says, howdy, folks. Greetings, Turtles. Happy Friday. Serena says, yes, Christian, I did. I have uploaded, was years ago. It took me ages to find it. It's just off the bridge. Or, you know, um, it's an O'Driscoll ambush point outside of Strawberry. North, southeast. It's east of Strawberry, heading towards uh, Hanging Dog Ranch. Ben says Bone Tomahawk was, Tomahawk was wild, especially to my mom, who had the blanket up to her nose the entire time. Yeah, it's dark. Oh, there, David says, howdy. And Serena says, good night, a name. Horta says, LOL, I was just talking to someone about Guns Akimbo the other day. David says, later on, a name, have a good one. A name says, definitely going to be uh, in for the whole stream tomorrow. Tomorrow we shall be featuring Bodicea, the liver chestnut Hungarian ham, half bread. Guns Akimbo, 2019. Miles is a video game developer who inadvertently becomes the next participant in a real life deathmatch that streams online. With Daniel Radcliffe. Samara Weaving. I've heard that name. I don't know who that is. Um, but it's a pretty name. He has guns bolted to his hands. Oh, that's interesting. How do you reload? Because it's like, it, it's like he's clipped in there. And it looks like he has extra clips on his wrist, but you can't, like... How are you supposed to reload? Hortus? David says, I was forced to watch it, but ended up liking it. And here's the Rhodes Poodle that we uh, got for another short. Uh, Christian says, "Everyone, I'm a glad. I'm a say it. Glad I subscribe to almost everyone here. Thanks to the mods, and very much thanks to you, Super Antonio, and thanks to us for always coming and stopping by and watching your stream. Yeah, appreciate you, Christian, and thank you, everyone who's here. 17 viewers in the chat. Uh, Christian says, "Goodbye, a name. Be safe, friend. YouTube avatar says, "Hey, how's it going? Welcome, friend. Happy Happy Friday." Hortus says, Hugo Weaving's daughter. Interesting. Samara Weaving. Because, you know, Hugo is not like... Oh, she's pretty. Okay. Hugo must have married somebody pretty. Who did Hugo marry, Hortus? What have I seen her in? I know that name. Oh, she was in Ash vs. Evil Dead. 
So that must be where I know her from. And Bill and Ted face the music, which I didn't see. Oh, Picnic at Hanging Rock. Speaking of Australia, um, I saw that. So yeah, I've seen her. Um, Samara is a pretty name. Um, Serena says, thank you, Chris Christian. And Christian says, no problem, Starheart Emoticon. Uh, ben says, I started watching, I watched Starheart's video a while ago today. Great video, Starheart. Portis says, I don't think he shoots enough to need to reload. Well, that is interesting. Um, Serena says, thanks, Ben, switch video. I made a short where we ran this footage backwards, and it is entitled Restoring a Lemoyne Raider to Full Health. So that's why we needed this footage, which is in forwards. Um, Horta says she was in another interesting movie called Ready or Not. And Ben says the Soothsayer video. Christian says later, O Dog. And um, Serena says, yes, the latest video, first time seeing the Soothsayer. Okay, Guns of Kimbo, I know that's on um, Amazon because they keep suggesting it to me. But I just, I have like a knee-jerk reaction to modern movies where I'm just not interested. Ben says, Super Antonio, I have a recommendation for the Saturday Horse Show, the Brown Leopard Appaloosa. That is an excellent recommendation, Ben Strens. And it could happen sooner than you think but tomorrow night is the liver chestnut hungarian half bread serena says antonio i watched your shorts too thank you serena i'm it's they're not necessarily for you guys for um subscribers they are for potential subscribers and for the youth of today we are making five shorts a day i don't know how long we're going to be able to sustain that Three on this channel and two on the second channel. The second channel shorts are more interesting for me personally because we're doing movie quote shorts. And that's, it's, it's a fun exercise for me because it's, it's more performative. And, um, and you know, I like it. Serena, I knew you meant shorts. Ben says, first time I came across the soothsayer was a low honor day, so you can probably add up the pieces to how that encounter went. And Christian says, I like the short Super Antonio, where, it post, where you post a peaceful and beautiful waterfall. Yeah, those work really well on um, TikTok, so I thought we should try them over here. And I'm really enjoying, I enjoy making them. They do okay on YouTube, but um, I have so much fun making them and just sharing you know the beauty of this game so i've got a bunch of them portis says the account i'm playing my current run on had the reverse dappled roan nakoda in the stable never used that horse before um i've done videos on that horse but yeah i've never really like um, used it for a playthrough never been a favorite Serena says, LOL, Ben, I'm going to see how many soothsayer interactions there are. And Ben says, one of the YouTubers I watch uses the brown chestnut Tennessee Walker. Massive respect to him. Yeah, I don't like the, um, I don't like the common horses. I like using horses that are hard for Arthur to get. I just feel it distinguishes my playthrough from other channels. And people come here for for the horses and for the horses I choose. Or rather, Arthur chooses. And Face Rock. Ben says, Serena, there are a few encounters. She talks about Santini in one and talking about this is the time of the machines. Yeah, I, I know that one. 
This is the time of the machines. Yeah, she's cool. She's very scary. And she only appears at night. As opposed as a, a um, opposed to blind man um, Cassidy. Hortis says, not a huge fan of it, uh, the Nakoda. I was bonding it up. I'll probably swap it out now. I'm about to start doing some missions. I haven't even taken the girls to Valentine yet. That's one of my happiest moments of the game is when Uncle says, ladies, sing us a song. And they, um, you know, they're all in perfect harmony and they're all happy. And it's just fun to think that that's what life was like. You know, you had to entertain yourself. You couldn't just turn on the radio or, you know, your phone. If you wanted to hear music, you had to make the music. Christian says, what's cool, you Super Antonio? You can blow yourself into the fence of Rhodes and he will still have a, a harmonica and jail keys and candy. Kind of strange, if you ask me. Yeah, what's that about? No hard feelings from the um, from all the fences if you blow them up. Serena says, I realized when I took Murphy to San Denis, the law did not bother me. I don't think they like Murphy's. I just got in trouble for disturbing the peace. <laughs> yeah, they want to keep the peace in San Denis. And Serena says, okay, I found her twice. In the same locations, the soothsayer and Momo says, Hello, Super Antonio. Greetings, Momo. Good to see a friend. Happy Friday. Serena says, Hi, Momo. And Ben says, I saw a thing where this guy attacked blind man Cassidy. And he said, I see a bullet in your future, you SOB. I thought it was funny. I don't think I've ever seen that, Ben's trends. And it feels like he made it up. But if you say you saw it for the benefit of this live stream and the chat, I will believe you. Hortus kicks and screams and farts and hollers won't take less than seven dollars. Yeah, if you take your time, you can hear the full um, song, um, Hortus. I got many videos on that. I love those girls when they sing. And also, I love um, I love when Tilly asks if we should have brought Molly with us. Um, because first playthrough, I was like, Molly? Who's Molly? What's what's going on here? But it just implies a bunch. It implies that, one, one Molly was part of the girls. She was part of the group. She was um, probably best friends with Tilly and, um, and Mary Beth before she, you know, saw an opportunity and moved in with, moved into Dutch's tent. And she ostracized herself from the girls and from Miss um, Grimshaw, took on this weird, awkward role where she is like Dutch's girlfriend, but that's the only relationship she's allowed to have now and nobody else knows how to deal with her. And um, Karen is super jealous. Actually, perhaps Karen was her best friend. She seems closer to Karen's age to me. Hey, what's your problem? Kristen says, hello, Momo, how are you? And Serena says, have you, Antonio, have you watched my video yet? I will tomorrow morning with Morning Coffee and Sadie. Sadie and I always watch your videos in the morning. David says, yes, Hort, we, we all sang that song as we read it. <laughs> Won't take less than seven dollars. Mr. Maddie says hello. Greetings, Mr. Maddie. Welcome, friend. David says she's a society lady now. Yeah, a society of one. I mean, she gets Dutch, but that's the only benefit. She's completely ostracized from um, the rest of the gang and the rest of the group. She got. It has to be very lonely for her. I feel sorry for Molly, but I have a lot of, I have a soft spot for redheads. Ben says, I feel like I'm the only one who likes playing epilogue over main story, like John's dialogue. And when he says, just you and me, mister, to his horse. Well, this is Arthur's channel, Ben's. 
Serena says, yes, Molly is a society lady. And Momo says, I'm okay. Serena says, okay, thank you, Antonio and Sadie. Yeah, yeah, we always watch your videos and give you a like. We don't, um, we don't comment as much as we should. I'll make an effort to do that, Serena. Make a note of that, Sadie. Um, Mark Miko says, and then Karen socked Molly hard. And Christian says, that's good to hear, Mo Momo. Yeah, I believe that Karen and um, Molly were, if not best friends, the closest friends um, in the camp. Because it seems personal with Karen. It seems like a betrayal. Horta says, I wouldn't say I like the epilogue more than the main story, but I think more highly of it than most, I believe. A lot of people don't even include it when they say they beat the game. You can't beat the game without killing Micah. I mean, the epilogue is like... Uh, perhaps... Not a quarter, but more than an eighth. Perhaps a fifth of the story. Really don't want to beat up that dog. Dog's hostile, too. Um... Serena says, I like the epilogue, but I love Arthur. And Ben says, but I do have the Arthur and John posters together, and they both have their guns pointed at me whenever I sit on my bed. Okay, Ben's. And Serena says, awesome, Ben's, LOL. All we wanted to do is look at the dead guy and the sheep, and that dog is really bothering us. Horta says, I always tell him, you haven't beat the game till you see the credits roll. Yes, and you have to watch the full credits so you can see Mary one last time. Momo says, I miss Arthur, and Momo, Arthur misses you. Cruz is in the, is in the chat. Cruz for World Peace says, what's up, everyone? Hey, Super Antonio. Hey, Cruz. Good to see you. Happy Friday. What do these bounty hunters want? Serena says, hi, Cruz. Porta says, Mary Beth is greater than Mary Linton. Ben says, see the fire in your eyes. Um, Hortus. Well, she's, I would say Mary Beth is, you know, like 10, 5, 10 years younger. Um, Mary Linton is closer to Arthur's age. I like Mary Beth's ending. I like how she becomes a writer, how she... She uses her experience with the gang and translates it into a, you know, a basically brilliant career as a romance writer. I like how her, um, um, yeah, I like her. She has one of the happiest endings in the game, her and Tilly. Cruz says, hi, Sadie. We'll call Sadie back for you, Cruz. She's in her crate. Kristen says, Momo, just keep us safe as Arthur in Chapter 2. Then you can play as lovable Arthur, heart emoticon. Serena says, pity that couldn't play as Arthur 2 once the game finished like GTA, where you can switch characters. Uh, Cruz says, meant to say hi, Serena. Uh, my bad, Star Hearts. Okay, well, we called Sadie back. You called. Momo says, when I completed the last veteran mission as John, I imagine Arthur and Hamish... In heaven, talking about hunting. Horta says, Mary Beth is within the confines of my age-appropriate relationship algorithm. What's that? Half your age plus seven, I believe. I don't think Arthur would have, like, had a relationship with anyone in, um... Well, he kind of did with Mary Beth. I mean, not Mary Beth, with, um, Abigail... But I just don't think Arthur would see it as appropriate. It messes up the politics and the relationships if you fool around with one of the um, 
one of the gang members. Unless you're both on the same level. Like Sean and Karen. Um, Horta says, uh, no, we said that. Ben says, but whenever I get into a shootout in the epilogue, I play American Venom through my earbuds. I like to think whenever John walks around, American Venom radiates off him. Interesting. Horta says, I wasn't necessarily saying that in reference to the relationship with Arthur anyway, though. Yeah, I know. I mean, Mary Beth is a cutie. I like Miss Tilly. I love her accent. I also like Molly's accent. And, you know, redhead. Porter says, just in terms of the characters themselves. Cruz says, but the surprise encounters of Tilly and Mary Beth catch you. Uh, did the surprise encounters of Tilly and Mar Mary Beth catch you by surprise in the epilogue, Super Antonio? I only ran into Tilly and the chief. Don't think I would have run into Eagle Flies and Mary Beth. Um, well, you must have seen my videos on those encounters, I would assume. Also, you can see Mr. Pearson at the roads. Um, I can't even remember first playthrough if they, um, if they surprised me. I assume they did. Um, I can remember the first time I saw Tilly as John. So yes, I, it did surprise me and I just loved it. Odog says, yes, that's stupid. Um, what Odog? Serena says, Sadie looks tired, Antonio. Yeah, she's tired. She ran a lot today and we played chase. And um, she is a little tired. Rodak says, you're correct, but it's stupid. I remember Karen dialogue where she wanted him. And Christian says, Super Antonio, are you and Sadie tired? You were yawning a bit. <laughs> um, yeah, I may be tired. It's been a long day, but I'm happy to be here. I missed you guys. 22 viewers in chat. Welcome, friends. Happy Friday. Led Zeppelin says, what's up, guys and gals? Welcome, Led Zeppelin. Good to see you, friend. Happy Friday. Odog says, Rockstar didn't do Arthur any favors with love. Yeah, that is kind of stupid, Rockstar. Um, Odog, um, he does have the bath ladies, though. Many, many bath ladies. He can keep clean. David says, howdy. And Odog says, sup, leds. And Kristen says, sup, leds, up, howdy, friend. Serena says, hi, led. Look at all the friends you have here, Led Zeppelin. Welcome back. Hortus says, it's rains, falls in the epilogue. Eagle flies is long since dead. Yes, Hortus. Led Zeppelin says, how are we all doing tonight? I believe we're doing quite well, friend. But I appreciate you being here. Kristen says, well, we also missed you as well, Super Antonio. And Sadie plus the mods can't forget about y'all fine folks and gals. Yeah, the mods are essential. Mods are essential to this channel and the chat. Serena says, see Rain's fall behind Annisburg train station in epilogue. Yeah, he's, he's sad. That's the saddest encounter. He's broken. Christian says, doing all right, Led. Horta says, they say lucky in carts, unlucky in love, but I'm in lucky in both. Yeah, I know what you mean, friend. I know what you mean. Led Zeppelin says, am I late? Sorry, I couldn't make it sooner. You are just in time, Led Zeppelin. And Momo says, you know what? I've always wondered what happened to the gang during and after the events of Red Dead 1. During and after the events of Red Dead 1. Red Dead 1 is after this game. So... Red Dead 1 is in 1911. This one's, I'm just trying to get the timeline straight. I have to think about it. Ben says, when I was doing Mary's second mission and saw Make a Move, I paused, thought for a second, then was disappointed after. Yeah, it should be try to make a move. And Serena says, Rain's Fall, I meant. We know what you meant, Serena. Cruz says, yeah, I meant to say Rain's Fall and Pearson. Mama One is in the chat. Welcome, Mama One. Greetings. Just arrived in sunny San Denis. Better late than never. Uh, you're not late, Mama One. You are just in time. 
I'll call Sadie back for you. She's under the desk. Um, ben says, I have terrible natural luck. That's why I'm never going to gamble when I'm old enough. Heck, I don't have any money to lose. Yeah, gambling is 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 not something you should... Hop, hop. Say hello to Mama One. Hop. Okay, look at the camera. Look at the camera. The 24 viewers in the chat that want to see you. Tell them to like and subscribe. Hit that like button and subscribe for daily Red Dead Redemption 2 content. Yeah, say something like that. Um, Kristen says, hello, Mama One. How are you doing, madam? Serena says, hi, Mama. Mama One says, my favorite horse besides the reverse dapple thoroughbred. Yes, we do love the Piebald Tobiano on this channel. Um, Horta says, Pearson still running the shop. Mary Beth still writing books. Tilly raising her kid. Yeah. Cruz says, Mary Beth made it as an author and Tilly married a lawyer. They all did pretty well after. Well, Tilly had a big laundry sack full of cash that helped her set up in San Denis. Jolly Rancher says, Bill Williamson is technically 17 in Red Dead 2. He is listed as 28 years old in the Red Dead 1 official guide. That's a hard looking 28. I'd have put him at 38 or 48. Mama One says, they are all dead after Red Dead 1 except Jack. Yeah, Mama One. Jolly Rancher says, Deb, oversight, but hilarious. David And David adds, and the drink took Karen. We're getting all these ducks because we need the animal fat for explosive rounds. Mama One says, Sadie, yeah, see, while she was up, she's very tired tonight. I was running her a lot. Uh, Serena says, always wondered what happened to Karen. John gets a letter from Tilly. Says about Karen not to not knowing where Karen is. Yeah, the drink took her. Mama One says, hey, star hearts. And Ben says, Jolly Rancher, that's crazy. Well, in the case, that case, Uncle is 20. He is the one-shot kid. Kristen says, no wonder Ben's uncle is so tired. Doesn't want to become a full adult. And Horta says, I assume that potato bag full of cash was split evenly between Tilly, John, and Abigail and Sadie when they met at Copperhead Landing. Yes, Hortus, I agree. I would assume as well. Led Zeppelin says, and Arthur is 12. Odok says, she drank herself to death. And Micah says, hello. Greetings, Micah. Happy Friday. On Fridays, we free roam. We need the explosive rounds because we are going to try a different approach to uh, Seamus's cousins by marriage. Mama once says, how do we know Tilly married rich with that fat sack of cash? Tilly might be a sugar mama. Well, I just assumed you're right, Mama One. Um, um, because, you know, you know, from the end credits, she looks happy and he's holding the parasol and she has the pram and he's a lawyer. Cruz says, would you ever try and play without auto-aim, Super Antonio? I tried it once and without aim reticle, and the only issue I had was using the bow. <laughs> um, I, you know, I don't know. I do love auto-aim. It's very convenient. I think I wouldn't because I'm always focused on making videos. And um, I don't want to appear useless in the video. I need all the help I can get. Odog says, Mama won. Finish the game. And Miko says, well, I'm sure she has, Odog. Um, Miko says, wow, I guess people grew up aged and matured very quickly in those days. Well, yeah. I mean, you're pretty much a man at 13 or 14. You were able to go to war. Um, there's no sunblock, no health care. Um, yeah. People lived hard in those days. Bodoc says it shows Tilly's outcome. Um, Horta, Horta says she was born poor, but she won't die poor. Ben Trent says, and Arthur is super agile for 36. Well, 
he's on an all big game diet and he is the hero of this game Serena says, how many times do you interact with Tilly in Epilogue? I only encountered one in saint -Denis. And the letter, that's it. That's it, Serena. So one and a half if you count the letter. Odog says, right, Hort. Chapter two, dialogue. And Odog says, okay, Mama. Oh, Mama once says, I was making a joke, Odog, LOL. Yeah, it was a good joke, Odog. And I'm sure Odog understood. Um, Odog says, I didn't want to spoil it for you. And Cruz says, when I ran into Tilly in Saint Denis, yep. I was just leaving the tailor and headed to the bar for a meal and play cards. Serendipity at its best. And Mama One says, ah, okay, LOL. I'm glad you're here, Mama One. How was your week? I was super busy with both channels. Um, ben says, I was very surprised to learn Charles was 25 in main story. Also, Bill being 33. Yeah, Bill seems older. Bill seems closer to Arthur's age. It's an interesting way of putting it, Seamus. Uh, no doubt. I do interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. So I am liking this bad honor look of Arthur's. This is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner. If he likes this. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss here. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. <laughs> prove ourselves to this clown? What are you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. Ben says, I really like seeing a mid-20s John in Red Dead 2. Exactly. Showing how he matures into yes. Red Dead 1 John. Yeah, I love it. Red, um, Red Dead One John. Okay. Tell you what. He's a wonderful I, character Obama in that game, and I would agree, a legend. Sean A says, by marriage. Yes, Sean. We're going to try a new approach because we're doing the bad honor playthrough. Greetings, Sean. Uh, Cruz says, the vest seems too hot for some areas. So, on this fit. Other than that, it's a very menacing look. Well, I like it because it's one wolf and one panther. So it's just a hard, dangerous vest to get and to wear. Mama once says in 1920s, the life expectancy was like 46 for men and 48 for women. Life was more in your face back then. For example, during a pandemic, you wouldn't have, <laughs> you wouldn't have had Amazon delivery. Yes, indeed. The Spanish flu. Um, yeah, life was way harder back then. Really? Really? Ben says, well, I have to go. Everyone, I wish everyone the best. You too, Ben. Appreciate you, friend. Glad you're here. Have a great weekend if you don't come back uh, for the Saturday Horse Show, which will be featuring the liver chestnut Hungarian half-bred We'll also be doing a campfire chat on Sunday and uh, the Red Dead 1 playthrough on Marston Mondays. I believe we'll be catching up with Dutch, finally, on Monday. Christian says, uh, let's see. Miko says, if you antagonize Tilly, Arthur says to her, this life won't end well for any of us. And yet Tilly and some of the others did have a ha happy endings. Yeah, I'm very happy about that, Miko. And David says, later, Benz. Christian says, another theory I have when doing the job with Seamus, they dropped both of their cigarettes and Arthur might have picked up Hosea. And people say Hosea's had TB. Oh, interesting. Yeah, maybe. Serena says, okay, bye, Benz. Have a great weekend. Christian says, goodbye, Benz. Mama One says, my week was pretty good. This is my favorite times of the week. Good conversation and a nice cold beer. Well done, Mama One. We're happy to have you here. And um, you are a valuable member of the chat and this community. Um, Odog, Super Antonio, ever get the Seamus extra dialogue? I'm not sure. I know about the... Um, I've gotten the full speech from Hosea. 
But what Seamus ex extra dialogue? Is it during this mission? Yes. Ortiz asks, what extra dialogue? What extra dialogue is that, oh dog? Miko says, take care, Benz. Cruz says, the way the game, or are you talking about the Lily extra dialogue? Cruz says, the way the game started off very well in Red Dead 1 with John being both vague and mysterious about his MO with Sadie Adler. It was a classic cowboy approach in my opponent, in my opinion. And Mama wants his liver chestnut versus piebald okay, to take a quick look at the place. Um, Hungarians. Um, honestly, I prefer the uh, the piebald. Nope. But um, you know, okay. Bodice has been very good to this channel. So I'm I'm sentimental about the liver chestnut. Cruz says McFarland's ranch. Yeah, I knew what you're talking about, Cruz. Odok says, go back a couple times and let him talk. Get into a fight with him, LOL. Come back again. It's not much, but it was fun. Um. Okay. I will try to make a note of that, Odog, but you might have to send me an email because... Let's get on with this, Mr. Morgan. Yes, I'm not going to remember those instructions. I can tell. I know me. I'm going to write, Oh, dog. Don't get caught. Um, it's me. They'll shoot first. Seamus. Fight convo. Okay. Make a note of it, Morgan. Christian says, but yeah, it makes sense. He got it from Thomas Downs because he is sick and he coughed blood on Arthur and it entered his through his mouth. Yeah. I mean, there's a scene where he's coming back where he's like, he touches his face and he looks at the blood. Mama once says, Hosea would have died before San Denis if, had, if he had t uh, TB. Old Doug says, wonder what Hosea had, asthma, bronchitis. And Sean says, I finally woke old Bob Crawford last playthrough. I had no idea you could threaten him all this time. Yeah, we're going to take a, a more direct approach. And we do have explosive rounds. I just wanted to see what Hosea would do. I don't like disappointing Hosea, but at the same time, this is the bad honor playthrough. Let's just use a more direct approach. I told you to stay hidden, Arthur. Let's get the stagecoach. We need to leave now. So if you do this, you still have to rob the house. Um, Hosea will get the stagecoach. And we will get a witness that you have to deal with. Serena says, hi, Sean. And Cruz says, he coughed blood deliberately, didn't he, Christian? It was a death sentence, and Downs knew it. I don't think it was deliberate, Cruz. Sean says, I always do this at night, purely for the beautiful lighting. Sean, I like during it, during it, doing it during the day because um, then you get Hosea's speech, and the title, The Spines of America, will make sense. Also, it, it bookends quite nicely with a the Fenton mission, where um, he has to play the idiot brother, Fenton. And you get to see um, Hosea's skills as a con man. Christian agrees with the Cruz and says, most likely. And the chimney. The most lucrative chimney in Red Dead 1, which sadly will not respawn. Get on, Arthur. We, don't we do need the cash. Deal. We are burning through cash on, from all these bounties that we keep yeah. collecting. Led Zeppelin says, I wish Arthur deliberately coughed in Micah's face. Yeah, that'd be interesting. Yeah, we got to deal with that. That horse is only sleeping. Don't worry about the horse. But you will get a witness. 
Crew says was scared to get caught on the first playthrough, was still figuring out sneak dynamics at the time. Yeah. Yeah, um. I'm sure I got caught the first time I did this. And I also did sneak. Mama One says, I love those houses in Red Dead 2. People were proud of it and took pride in their home, even if it was small. Yeah, I agree. But I've all, you know, I've always said that um, the gang should have just taken over Hanging Dog Ranch. That would have been perfect for them as a base of operations. But all the houses, like, look at the view Mary has to wake up to at that house where she's renting a room. All the houses have wonderful views. Even that shack on the river, on the Lanahassee, near Cougar Country, where you have to do a rescue, where you can fish off the dock. You do have a lot of gators as neighbors. Catfish Jackson, wonderful waterfront property. He also has a dock. No reference to, yeah, we met your cousins there. It seemed like nice people. You know, that works with every iteration of the mission, wherever, however you do it. And, you know, his cousin by marriage responds, Look at how the sunlight, the go that golden sunlight reflects off on um, Hosea's to collar. Beautiful. And I always ride back with Hosea because our time with Hosea is finite. Even though it's a bad honor playthrough. I was thinking I should, um, I should say no, but can't say no to Hosea. Just like I can't be mean to Miss Tilly. Mama One says, I love... No, no, we saw that. I said that, Mama One. Forgive me. Cruz says, favorite places to rest is the shack by Rio Del Lobo and the hunter's shack by Hanging Dog Ranch. That big treehouse hunter, hunter's shack. I love that treehouse. Kristen says, gators as neighbors. Nice word, Super Antonio. Also, nice rhythm. Yes, I suppose so, Christian. Mama once says, my grandmother had an outhouse in her home in Alabama and never would allow them to bring in indoor plumbing in her home. She lived the way until she got ill and had to move in with my aunt. Yeah, I mean, I've read how, like, there was a pushback to indoor plumbing because they thought it was unsanitary. And, you know, if you've been going out outside of the house for your whole life and for generations, it would be... um. It'd be hard to bring it in. Even in ancient Rome, they had communal toilets with running water, but you didn't go in your home where you where you slept. They did have um, what are those called? Chamber pots. I know a lot about this. I really shouldn't. And you know, of course, that Sir Thomas Crapper is a real name, and he did invent the toilet. Um, Sean says, "I love." The early Hosea missions, Arthur and Hosea, are the best buds. Yes, they are, Sean. I think Hosea was was Arthur's real father figure. Collecting some time because we ran out of big game time. Serena says, I was scared at first playthrough, too. Didn't want to hurt anyone. Now, after playing for over four years, don't worry so much. Yeah, I mean... I felt the same way. You know, I didn't understand how the wanted system worked. I didn't understand how they could know it was me. It was Arthur. Um, and, you know, it just seemed that every, every time you left camp, there was something or someone trying to kill you. Those ambush points really got to me, made me paranoid because I thought they were everywhere. Cruz says, you can be mean to Miss Tilly. She's too demanding about the chores. 
Yeah, I can't. It's not in me, even with a bad honor playthrough. Cruz says, what are your thoughts on Trelawney, Super Antonio? He's my favorite character, other than the Arthur and John, of course. Um, I have many thoughts on him. Um, first, the juxtaposition of Hosea and Josiah. That's basically the same name. Um, when Josiah Trelawney is distracting the bounty hunters during the Sean's Bolt mission rescue, he says his wife's name is Bessie, which, uh, of course, you know, is Hosea's wife. The Sean uh, strange man connections are very interesting. Uh, I, no, the, the Trelawney um, strange man connections are very interesting. The Heidi McCourt thing. The fact that Trelawney has a secret family in Saint Denis. I'm making a big video that I'm, I have all the pieces, the video pieces, but I haven't really written it out. So yeah, hold that thought, Cruz. Led Zeppelin says, I never understood why Hosea couldn't have been the leader. It wasn't in him. He was um, Dutch's second. Dutch is the leader. You know, it's like, and some people don't want to lead. They just want to be like the, the consigliere, the, uh, not the power behind the throne, but the power next to the throne. Mama One says, even if Arthur had bad honor, he still loves both Dutch and Hosea. He writes it in his journal, and he seems to tr truly care about the gang. Yeah, Mama One, I agree. And Odog says, I did bad honor and wasn't mean to her much. David says, he's just a cockroach in fancy britches about Tr Trelawney. Cruz says, never made the connection with Josiah. Yeah, Josiah... And Hosea, that's the same name, except, yeah, I don't understand if that's an oversight be on the devs' part, or were they two this, a similar character that got split into two different characters? Um, yeah, there's something there. Arthur, Mama one says, Arthur writes in his journal after he and Hosea go bear hunting, he writes, I love Dutch like a father in many ways. I love H Hosea even more and talks about how Hosea taught him to read. Yeah. Dutch takes the credit, but Hosea actually taught him how to read. Cruz says, finish the vid and upload. Yeah, working on it. Horta says, Hosea has the charm and Dutch has the charisma. Good point, Hortus. Dutch can do the speeches. And, um... Horta says he'd sell his own sis sister to save a, a tr train fare. Yeah. Talking about Trelawney. And Cruz says, we'll just say last thing about Trelawney was that he was great with his words. Could create opportunities with just his words. LOL. Yeah, just like um, Hosea. They're both con men. And also, um, I love how Trelawney describes... The, situa the situation in um, in Rhodes as interminable, which I'm looking up here. Interminable, to quote Google, it says, means having or seeming to have no end, especially wearisome or protracted. Interminable situation, yeah. And, and he has a lovely accent. Um, Where are we? David says, he didn't know not how not to talk. And Sean says, Hosea is the velvet glove to Dutch's iron fist. Well said, Sean. Well said indeed. But Dutch had, you know, Dutch had that famous Dutch charm. Between the two of them, they were, you know, they made a whole good leader. You know, but Micah saw an opportunity because Hosea was older, pushed him out. Led Zeppelin says, Super Antonian friends, who would you like say as a character is that most everyone likes but you don't like as much? That's a great question, Led. I'll have to think about it. Hortus says, cooking three times meat at a time. Another Red Dead online ability I wish they'd added to story mode. And Cruz says, or even his bit about being a part of distinguishable men. Talking about Hosea, I mean Josiah. 
a character that most everyone likes, but you don't as much. That's tough because I love every character in this game, I think. I believe. I'd have to think about that. I'll have to get back to you. Horta says, a discouraged man is no man at all. Alden. And Cruz says, for the horse carriage missions. And Mama One says, the only member I antagonized at first was Kieran. I thought at first he was going to be loyal to Combe, but when he saved Arthur, I felt horrible. <laughs> I ended up doing Kieran's item request to make it up. Yeah, I mean, he's a gentle soul. Just wants to play with horses. Um has a little crush on Mary Beth, and he wants to avoid Bill. Hodog says, I didn't like Bill. Marion. That, my friends, is all I have for you tonight. Horta says, but most people don't like Bill. Ha ha. Appreciate all of you. Um, shout out to the mods. Odog, David, Serena. Really glad you're here. Um, I made a new treat for you guys. Where is it? Because I never know what to say. See you soon, friends. So I added this for you. I'll see all of you uh, tomorrow night for, free, uh, for the Saturday Horse Show. Everyone have a great weekend. See you soon, friends. Further on down the trail.